The race to Roby Creek sold out in just 13 minutes. I think there's a mystique to it. And in just over a week, around 2,500 runners will try to finish this challenging race that takes runners up and over Aldopi Summit. And we make the claim that it's the toughest half marathon in the Northwest. So it's only fitting that this race would have its own challenges. And this year that comes in the form of flooding as Rocky Creek forged a new path, damaging the road in the process. There's some Facebook posts. I got some emails last night. Well, you're going to cancel. You're going to do this. And no, we're on no issues whatsoever. The process of fixing Shaw Mountain Road has already begun. We saw a convoy of trucks carrying dirt and sediment up the road. It's an effort spearheaded by ACHD and it's greatly appreciated. They're behind us and they will get that road back up and nobody will even know that we had a little bit of a washout. Even if complications happen with the road, the runners have made it perfectly clear on social media that a trail run up the mountain would be just fine with them. After all, you have to be a special breed to run the race to Roby Creek. It doesn't ever get easier. Brian Wrencher says runners either do this race once and that's enough. Or there is a group of runners who come back every year, including Wrencher, who will be running for the 34th time. I'm one of those guys that went and did it once and loved it and was hooked and continue to come back and that's why I've done it. It's kind of like why did the salmon come back? The race to Roby Creek happens Saturday, April 20th. Steve Dent, six on your side.